Well, good morning. Welcome to everybody, uh, but particularly the children. It's great to be together. Our catechism questions. Do you remember question four? How can you glorify God? The answer is by loving him and doing what he commands. Well done. Last week, the question Johnny taught us was this. Where do you learn how to love and obey God? The answer is in the Bible alone. Very good. Today's question is this. Who wrote the Bible? That's a good question, isn't it? Who wrote the Bible? The answer is holy men who were taught by the Holy Spirit. Holy men who were taught by the Holy Spirit. Let's do that together. Who wrote the Bible? Holy men who were taught by the Holy Spirit. So God taught people what was true so they could write it down and tell others. God taught men. The Bible is an amazing book. It's made up of 66 different books, sections, written by something like 40 different people. We don't know exactly who wrote some of them. And they were very different people. Some were quite ordinary, fishermen, shepherds. Some were important, kings, priests, advisors. Some wrote a little bit, some wrote a lot. And did you know from the first books to be written down to the last book of the Bible, there's something like 1,500 years gap. That's big, isn't it? That's like from King Arthur's time in medieval England, if you've heard of that, to today. And the amazing thing is, all of that time, all those different people, but they're all telling us the same true things about God and the world and us and the saviour we need, Jesus. That's incredible, isn't it? The Bible is a very special book. Let's just think about some of the people who God used to write parts of the Bible. Think of David, the shepherd boy, in the fields with his flocks, praising God from his heart because he, he loved God for looking after him for forgiving him, for being so good. Then we have David's prayers, mainly from later in life when he was afraid, when he was maybe being attacked, he had enemies and he was worried and he went to God for help. We've been reading uh, Proverbs this last month. Well, can you imagine King Solomon sitting in his palace, writing down the Proverbs, part of God's word? Because he wanted to teach his sons to, to rule well, to be wise, to know God. We have the prophets. They had a tough job because they were telling the people often that God was angry with their sin. That when we disobey God and ignore God and love other things instead of God, it really, really matters. One time Jeremiah was told by God to pick up a, a jar and smash it on the floor to show the people how serious God's punishment is against sin. And then we have lots of encouragements. Think of Paul, sometimes in prison, but writing letters to the churches because he wanted to encourage them in what is true, to keep following Jesus to believe the right things. It's a wonderful book that God has given us because he taught men to write down what is true. True for us today, as well as for them when they wrote. The question again then, who wrote the Bible? Holy men who were taught by the Holy Spirit. Well, let's pray and give thanks to God. Our great God, we thank you for your word, the Bible. Thank you that you've given us everything we need. Thank you that it teaches us about you. 
and about the Saviour Jesus, your Son. Please help us to read it, to understand it, to believe it. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, to encourage each other to do just that, we're going to sing together now. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. <laughs>